So I want to do an example where the numbers get really, really big. Okay? Because those are the most problematic ones to do. And so as the example for, for this go around, we're going to do And the first piece of advice I have for you is don't be afraid to use your calculator. It is your friend. He loves you, or she loves you, depending on what kind of gender calculator you have. Okay? So, we want to proceed like normal here. We're going to start by using our calculator to multiply the first and last terms together. We need 56 times 56. We get a very, very big number. Okay, it could be bigger, but it is 31.36. All right. Now, when you're dealing with numbers this big, okay, you can go through the normal process and start at one and just go through and divide it by two and divide it by three and go so on and so forth until you get to the number. It takes a while, okay? And you're gonna go through a lot of numbers that you probably already know are not gonna work. So the pairs of factors that just aren't gonna do it, okay? So rather than starting this off at one, I'm gonna start it off at something bigger, like 6. Okay? And so I'm going to use my calculator. And I see that 3136 is not divisible by 6. So I have to use something that's not 6. Um, let's try 7. Okay. So 7 and 448. And so I'm looking at the difference because that side is minus, so you always want to make sure you're paying attention to that. And that's going to difference of 441, which is way too big. We want it to be negative 15. All right, so I'm going to go even bigger, and I'm going to try 14, okay? Because I know it's divisible by 7, and I know it's divisible by 2. Now, I was trying 49 because I thought 49 would give me something that's too small. But as it turns out, 49 minus 64 is 15, and that's what we want. Okay. The point I'm trying to make here is that as you're going through this process, you don't necessarily have to look at every single possible factor. Okay. I'm looking here. I look at. I started with 7448. And the difference was way too big. Okay, so I tried something smaller. As my smaller number gets bigger, the difference or the sum is going to get smaller. Okay, and you're going to get closer to the pair that you want. Okay, now if I had overshot it, okay, like if I tried 56, okay, 
And my difference would have been zero, which is too small, which means that I need to find a pair of factors with a bigger difference, which means I'd be going back up the chain. I'd be looking at things closer to 28, okay? All right, the most difficult part about these problems with the big numbers is just finding the pair of factors that work. Everything else will flow like normal, okay? You're just gonna have big numbers and your calculator is gonna help you a lot. All right, so now we figured out our, our pair And we know that this guy is negative, so we're looking at negative 64, because our larger factor is going to be negative. And we're going to rewrite our equation. raised common factor from these guys. And one of the issues you might encounter here is that you don't always notice the greatest common factor first. So let's say that we make a mistake. I'm going to make a deliberate mistake here. Okay? Let's say that I only see that both of these guys are divisible by 4. Well, we're going to have an x, too. So I factor out 4x from 56, and it's going to leave me with... Fourteen x. I'm going to factor out four from sixty-four, and I notice here both of these guys still have something in common. Okay, so I need to factor out another two. So when I factor out that two, I'm going to multiply this number in the front. It's going to leave me with seven x, not minus six. And now I know that, at least for this part, my factorization is done because these two guys don't have anything in common. All right, now I'm going to look at these guys. And both of these guys are divisible by 7. And when I factor out 7, I get 7x minus 8. And I know that I've gotten my greatest common factor here because these guys are, are relatively prime. They don't have anything in common. And I know that I've done it right, right because these guys match. Okay? As you start dealing with number with problems with bigger numbers, you want to be more careful. Okay? It's easier to make mistakes. And now we're ready to write our answer.